You must rise to the occasion and prove your worth. Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be benchmarking a Ryze MP6 PR266 versus a Intel Pentium 200 MMX. I was originally going to do this comparison with a Pentium 2, which is what the MP6 was originally designed to compete against, but sadly it wasn't even a comparison, more like an annihilation. Since Ryze uses the PR rating system, I decided to do this comparison on a clock for clock basis, meaning a Ryze MP6 PR266 is actually clocked at 200 MHz and will be going up against a Pentium MMX at 200 MHz. RISE introduced its MP6 processor in November of 1998 after five years of development. The MP6 processor is an x86 compatible processor targeted at the sub-1000 PC market that would achieve Pentium 2 class performance. Pentium 2 class performance. For a fraction of the cost. Like other low-cost CPUs of this time, RISE also implemented the PR rating system to rate its processor's performance. I always thought this rating system was a bit misleading because rarely did they ever live up to their hype. The fact of the matter is, the MP6's performance was nowhere near its PR rating system had led you to believe. Does that make it a bad processor? No, not at all. In my opinion, RISE should have been more truthful about their CPU's performance because on a clock-for-clock -clock basis, the MP6 stacks up pretty decently to the offerings from Intel especially when you consider its price. There are a few reasons on why I think the Ryze MP6 didn't live up to its hype, one being its overly optimistic PR rating, the second being the bottleneck in its L1 cache size. For some reason, Ryze had chosen to use only 16 KB of level 1 cache versus its competition, who were all using 32 KB or larger by this time. Think of cache memory as a high-speed memory buffer that temporarily stores data that the processor needs. This cache memory allows the processor to retrieve data faster than if it came from main memory. If the processor has to constantly retrieve data from slower L2 cache or even main memory, this can significantly impact performance. And lastly, transistor count. There's no question there's a correlation between performance and transistors. With that being said, the Ryzen P6 has 900,000 less transistors than the Pentium MMX, which is probably playing a role in its performance. I will be putting both processors through a series of benchmarks that are aimed at 3D gaming. The motherboard I will be using supports both processors, so each processor will share the same system configuration. One of my favorite benchmarks to use back in the day was 3D Mark 99. It was a great way to see how your PC could handle the most demanding games. Just take a look at these 3D Mark results. Are you surprised or disappointed with how the MP6 performed? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Now onto the benchmarking. 